Hey everybody, it's Queen of Light 1111. Happy Wednesday here with your Wednesday reading. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that, um, gosh, after yesterday's special reading, I received an influx of um, reading requests for the Akashic Record. So if you booked or purchased a session through my website, I will get back to you by the end of today, okay? And I'm just trying to get through all the emails. Um, but I just wanted to thank you. Thank you guys so much for the wonderful feedback that I got on that special twin flame journey, that road to union, the story of us um, video that I put out yesterday. It was super, super special to me. And um, I was just so glad that I was guided to do it. Today's reading is also nothing short of spectacular. It is amazing we have major stuff going on here today they are completely mirroring each other the feminine is in her power showing up as every queen here on her side um and they're mirroring each other in their overall energy so they're really moving towards wanting the same thing um, I've used 13 decks again, okay? I used three oracles and 10, 10 different tarot decks. 10 different tarot decks, 78 cards each. That's 780 cards. Think about that. And then while you're thinking about that, as I'm going through the reading, think about the amount of dupes that we have here using 780 cards. This is exactly why I do clarifiers is so that I can get a consistent message throughout, okay? Um, I have here messages um, from spirit to the masculine, messages from spirit to the feminine, messages to, from spirit to the couple, um, and then I have a message from the masculine to the feminine and from the feminine to the masculine. So I went ahead and did that. If you want to book your own personal reading with me, remember, I've got the Akashic Records reading that is um, hot right now, but it is super hot. And, and the thing is, it's a very, very detailed reading. And it um, it's, it's nothing like this. It's like a, this higher self reading, right? It's about what you guys agreed to when you were in soul form. So for that reading, it's like a pyramid scheme. I have four cards for the foundation of your contract. What did you decide with your partner? And this could be for twin flame, soulmate, whatever, parent, whatever, right? Um, any relationship I can do an Akashic Records reading on. And so, and I can even do an Akashic Records reading on the self, on your own journey. What are you here to do? So um, remember, I'm going to do four cards about what the contract is, what you guys agreed to when you were in soul form. Three cards about um, where you are in the contract today. And then one kind of futurish outcome card, which is very clear to me when I go over it about where you are in the stages. Are you here for union? What are you here to do? What's going on? And so if you're interested in the Akashic Records reading, then um, go ahead and go to my website and purchase that. The other thing, remember, for a limited time only, I'm going to be offering the journey of the Divine Masculine and the journey of the Divine Feminine. And so if you want to know, this is not a higher self reading. This is really about where you were before you met your twin, where um, you are now, what will happen you know, in the future, and then what lessons are you learning, okay? And so this is like if for, a, for any person that wants to know about their divine partner, we'll see about their journey. What did they learn before they, what were they, where, where were they before they met you? And then what were they learning or what did they learn? What, where are they now that they've met you? What are they learning? What happens in the future based on your connection before their journey? And then what will they learn? So I have that available. And then lastly, for a very limited time only, I have a reading, an extended, Twin Flame extended reading and coaching session combo. And that is um, the extended reading. So we'll look at how you guys are viewing each other, where the connection is at, what the blocks are in the connection, and then future energies. And then the second part of that session is we'll go over the blocks to truly understand them and talk about how to remove them, okay? 
So those are the things that are available. And if you are interested, book them, um, you know, when you're guided, okay? Queen of Light 1111.com. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm on Instagram, Queen of Light 1111 is my username. Um, and I post readings there on Tuesday and Thursday. All right, let's go ahead and get to the reading. I'm not going to be able to go to the bottom of the deck all because it's just so far now. Um, but the strength card has come up. Let me tell you something. Since I put this on my wall, okay, the strength card has come up so much. It's like, one, I was totally guided to buy this piece. I was totally guided to buy this piece, okay, because I really felt like that embodies where this the collective is in this journey today. It's, you know... Uh, petting the mane. It's about loving the, you know, the, these parts of yourself, taming the pride, taming the ego, right? Getting to a place of harmony and balance in strength. And so ever since I purchased this, I'm telling you, I have gotten the strength card in every single reading. We have it today in the overall energy for the masculine. We have it today in the overall energy for the feminine. We have it, um, you know, there's so many cards here. We have it in their current connection. So they're both, you know, operating in strength and then it shows up in their current connection. It's just amazing. So strength is really part of this conversation right now. Strength is really part of this journey right now. And it's really about staying determined. It's about staying determined. It's about not giving up. It's that nine of wands type of energy. And again, I'm going to tell you guys, not every twin flame is here for union. That's my personal belief. Some are. Some are here to do work together, mission work. Some are here to because the twin, you guys decided to, you know, evolve each other to be the best version of yourselves. And that's the lesson that is being learned. Uh, but again, like I'm telling you, this collective, if you're resonating, if you're seeing your masculine change, okay, because I know that the majority of my viewers are feminine, I'm telling you, if you are seeing Page of Swords, if you are seeing in the 3D that your masculine is changing, okay, the, that means the 5D is blending with the 3. That is exactly what's happening here. The masculine is literally just one, one step one step behind, one step behind, but he's every king. Right now, the reason why he's not matched up to the step is because he is operating in his heartbreak. He is unsure of how to move forward with his feminine. So he's got the three of wands a lot, kind of a waiting game. He's, you know, kind of going in. He's trying to develop his confidence and she continues to stand in her power. But where they are today, according to the storyline, is yes, they're still in separation. They're still in separation. And now she's trying, she's just finding that unity within herself. She is every queen on her side, every single queen, okay? So she continues to stay in her power. She does. And so that's because she let him go. That is because she worked on herself. That that is why when she let go, it unstifled the connection. Okay, it stopped suffocating the connection. When I hear of women saying, I'm, I'm waiting for my masculine, I'm waiting for my feminine, or whatever it is, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. You are not here to be in a waiting room. You're not here to be in a waiting room. You are here to live your life, participate in your life. You are here to go through this experience. You are here because this journey separates you and in that separation makes you the best version of yourself. And if your contract is for union, then you will see it. But she has completely detached and let go. And that is exactly why she is um, in this place with her masculine um, of just like a step away from union. Because that's this, is, this collective is for union. All right. So um, I hope you guys understand that. And I say it so emphatically and with so much energy because people stay stuck in the waiting room. They stay stuck, so concerned about what's happening with the masculine that they don't do the work on themselves for themselves, okay? I understand if you're doing the work and you're sitting here like the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Empress, 
If you're sitting here in this power and you want to take a peek at how your masculine's doing, I get it. That's why we got a bunch of page of swords energy going on today, right? We have a bunch of page of swords energy going on today because she's in her power. She's taking a peek here. She is to see how he's doing, to see if he's grown, but she's not attaching herself to this. She doesn't have expectations of anything, but she does have this inner knowingness that, you know what? If I raise myself, I raise my vibration. I give this and surrender this connection to the universe, to God. I know that things can come from it. I know that the universe is going to help me. And whether we're together or not together, whatever, it is for my highest good. That is detachment. All right, I'm telling you, she's taking a peek. She's every queen taking a peek. All right, let's start with the messages. Um, let's start with the messages because I gotta get some of these cards off the table. So who do I start with? Let me start with the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck for the blessed bee. Okay, it's the green, uh, the green one right there that I'm pointing at. It's a blessing on a home. Bottom of the deck. They are preparing. Okay, they are preparing to build this is like ten of pentacles energy for me so this is about the bottom of the deck for that's the kind of theme is it's a blessing for a home with a protective presence remember on monday we received archangel michael and we we were told that this collective is protected this connection is protected there is an angel at every door at every window at the doorstep they are protected in their home they are protected in their connection and so interestingly enough, here we have at the bottom of the deck, a blessing on a home, a blessing for a home with protective presence. It's a creative field within which you can thrive and be reborn night after night, day after day. And so this is saying you are protected. Your home is protected. Your space is protected. Your intimacy is protected where you have space for intimacy, where you have space for your connection, where you have space for your friendship, for your privacy, your conversations, for the tears, okay? For where you have hope, that sanctuary is protected. The bottom of the deck for the mermaid cards is freedom. They are releasing themselves from fears, from things that did not serve them, okay? And so they're very much in this place of freedom, of independence, of um, self-determination. And by the way, the feminine got that card. So the bottom of the deck is, this is now a time where they're saying it's your turn. Get to know yourself, be true to yourself all over again. And, um, you know, be fleeting, be fleeting. Show us how to maintain who we are within relationships without being codependent, without being, uh, you know, needy and clingy. Stay in your power, stay determined, keep your individuality while you are in this partnership. So this very much, this presence is about as we become closer to who we are, honor your truth. They are coming into exactly who they are, okay? And this is very much about, you know, continuing to maintain who you are as you come into union, as you come into union. So now the bottom of the deck for the Ganesha cards, right, over there, the third card at the top, is Splendor. Splendor is all about um, the honor and beauty that is within you. So here's the thing. We have this sanctuary, this home that's protected. They're also telling us through the mermaid cards is be free, be who you are, continue to retain and stay in your power as you come into union. And now they are telling us that you should seek the honor and the beauty and the splendor that is within and around you. And they are calling this to your attention. Awaken to what is surrounding you today, okay? Be very aware of your surroundings and the life that you are creating now. You're creating a life, okay? Whether you're birthing this contract with, because it's being reborn, whether you're going to birth um, this connection or family, whatever it is, this is the essence. You are surrounded by splendor. Start to see it. All right, let's start with... 
um, the message for the masculine. So I asked spirit for, and the blessed B cards, I said, okay, spirit, please give me one message for the masculine uh, that he needs to hear, that he needs to know today. What is it? Blessing on a friendship. I love this card. I love this card. At first I was like, oh, friendship. But hey, hold on, friendship. The best relationships are born of friendships. This is the rebuilding. This is the rebuilding time. They are going to be rebuilding. So he needs to see this blessing, this blessing on a friendship. Okay, so what does that mean? A blessing on a friendship. Remember, the bottom of the deck is this sanctuary, this home, this connection that is protected. So this, this connection is protected. What this card is about is that um, they're saying, may you be blessed. May your friendship be blessed, okay? And may your friendship delight you both and give you warmth and sharing and, you know, six of pentacles energy, give and take. And it says small offerings of what you have sent back and forth between you. May you be blessed with that. This says about, um, you know, may you be blessed with the, um, <clears throat> the companionship, okay? May there be closeness and a bright and blessed space between you and your partner. May you support each other's soul endeavors. May you breathe life to the fire of each other's dreams. And may there be moments of shared rapture with simple things, the song you love most, the glory of dawn, the offering of meals, the breaking of bread, the warm circle of the arms of a friend which holds you while the world about you or within you is falling down. Let there be mutual care and may your friendship endure amidst the inconsistency, inconsistencies of the world. Let your friendship have its seasons, but let it turn on and on, ever changing, ever returning to the place where you find love for each other and greater love of self for knowing each other. This is about you being the best version of yourself. This is about you having the six of pentacles energy, which is his headspace card about his feminine. He's ready. He's ready. And they're blessing him with this connection and they're blessing him. And they're telling him that he is blessed for this connection. His Ganesha message. Well, I'm, uh, yeah, his Ganesha message. I'm going to go ahead and tell you now is, uh, the number 22 harmony. Okay. And so what there's telling him here is that, you know, they want him to feel harmony. They want him to feel good about his existence. And it's really through this awakening of his, through this evolution of his, that he is going to feel or that he has started to feel or that he is feeling good about his existence, okay? This is why he's every king now. This is why he's the emperor now. And so this is, this is where Ganesh is asking you to remember to radiate your warmth and energy. Take some time to reflect on your values and your attitude. And what do you believe will bring the outcome that you're longing for in order to have a complete and happy life? This color orange here is about socializing activities, a new adventure. For me, it's like a three of cups energy. Orange is also the color of the sacral chakra, which is about the sexual organs and reproductive system. It symbolizes happiness and love. Look at this. This card here, this blessing of friendship is an amber, okay? And now we have this card of harmony in this sacral chakra color. And this is about happiness and love. This is about where we store our feelings and our emotions, our pleasure, our sensuality, our intimacy, and our connection, okay? And this is saying that, you you know, how deserving do you feel? Do you feel like you deserve good? Do you feel like, you know, you treat yourself well and that you require others to treat you well? So this is about making sure that he has a strong sense of belonging, belonging to himself and um, feeling good about himself, okay? And I'm, I'm telling you, there is this opening of his heart that is occurring through the heartbreak because he is heartbroken. He's got three of swords two times. He's defensive because she's broken his heart, okay? He's also a little guarded because she's broken his heart. Right, I'm sure he, he definitely did stuff to, you know, be in this situation, but it all helped, it all helped. So now I'm gonna tell you the message for our feminine, she's in the pink and the red. Hers is, 
and I believe this, guys, a blessing to heal a relationship. Remember, blessing on a home is the bottom of the deck. They're wanting to build a home, have a safe home, have a home that is um, that is protected. This is interesting because this is 14 and this is 28. So the half of 28 is 14. So here, you know, he's like starting to see how much this connection is meaning to him. And she's like, I want to heal this now. And there, there needs to be energy around healing this connection. So spirit is giving them the blessing, a blessing to heal this relationship. I love it. I Listen, this card flew out with a couple other cards. I put it back because I only take flyouts one at a time. This flew out on its own again, okay? And I had to take it because it flew out on its own because that's how I take cards. So this card is all about, you know, an aid, an aid to when you have a relationship that seems to be in a struggle and you can't find a way to mend your torn heart or the torn hearts of each other, okay? And so what they're saying is this blessing is yours, a charge of energy with which you can reweave the threads that once gently held you in suspended relationship once there was understanding and intimacy and ease and comfort but for a while now there's been trouble and discord a sense of displeasure the stains that stains the days making the time that you spend together uncomfortable and self-conscious so now take this blessing pour it on the troubled waters between you and um your companion okay your friend your masculine and it says that this disentanglement will begin all right and the source will be discovered and cured without strain or blame and so this is going to be that you know coldness that was between the two of you is now going to flow is going to warm up because we're going to speak from the heart because our hearts are going to start to get um, heal and um, this this is going to flow it's we're going to be strong and it's going to give us that the strength to form words that used to choke within your throat at first are now going to seamlessly come out okay remember we're talking about throat chakra stuff last week and so now this is that blessing it was because our hearts and our throats and he couldn't find his words and her heart was broken and now there's this blessing of healing, a healing the relationship, okay? I'm telling you, I love it, I love it. Now, her message from Ganesha is 21. This We got this as the message to the couple um, last week, I believe. And so now we've got this as the blessing and the message for her, okay? The blessing and the message. This is the number 21. This is where I'm saying they're one step apart, okay? She's, she's here. In determination and he's in harmony actually if I think about it he's probably in a better place <laughs> but he's you know because harmony feels good but you know she's ahead 21 right she's like 21 comes before 22 and so she's in this energy where she's like I'm sticking to this I'm sticking to it I'm gonna continue to be determined around this blessing to heal our relationship He's trying to find harmony and peace and he's going to be open and he's going to be open to receiving and giving. He's seeing the blessing of this connection. And now where is she? She's like, I'm not giving up, not giving up. Nine of wands came up in her overall energy. And so when you get this card, remember, she's one step ahead. Okay. When you get this card, this is about this determination, this queen of wands types of fire energy. Okay. This is about feeling secure within her, within her being. She is, she is the queen of swords, the queen of pentacles. She's the queen of cups. She's the queen of wands. Every queen came out for her. She's every queen. All right. And so here, this is saying, you know, the dynamics of this lifetime can be complicated and you know, this is about, you know, again, this world, this earth, this life is not free of drama. It's not free of obstacles. It's not free of trauma and blockages and lessons. It has all of that. But this root chakra, this base chakra is associated with keeping life exciting and sustainable. And it's also associated with, you know, trusting and believing and accepting and it's about giving you the strength and the determination when you're feeling like you're lost or insecure or losing energy. 
this root chakra when it's balanced is your center is your ground it makes you healthy and vibrant and it gives you unlimited physical energy so this is like i they're saying i know this was hard for you i know you worked really hard on yourself stay determined they're here to support you in healing your relationship they're here to help you heal the connection all right this is where i almost fell off my chair um literally when i got this i was just tripping out and this card i put back two times you know because it came out two times but with other cards i put it in again and they're like no and it came out by itself so i had to take it you're not going to believe this guys this is the message from spirit to the couple a blessing for unity where once there was division and i just like as i read it i get emotional a blessing for unity where once there was decision division this is a number 37 card okay then we also have from the mermaid deck remember it's about freedom and it's about independence we have fertility and then we have joy 47 so here's here's what i'm gonna tell you right now this is what's significant a few things 37 number 10 cycles ending we're coming back together number eight cycles this is the number eight that is on the strength card you see that it's the number eight card and then it's also the infinity symbol so here we have um this you know number eight card and so this is a cycle we're ending it we're now starting and birthing a new cycle and then the Ganesha card is 47, which is 11, master number 11, which is about manifestation. And they have come up as the magician in their overall energy, in their current connection, and in the future. They are the magician. That's like the ultimate energy, the powerful manifestors. They manifested this connection. So the first blessing is... A blessing for unity where there was once division okay so obviously they are in separation okay but they're on their way to union so when this card comes up and look at she's holding a bunny she's holding a bunny if did you guys watch my Instagram there was a bunny I've lived in my house for 16 years and never saw a bunny and I saw a bunny for the first time and then it came back two days later this bunny is about fertility it's about um, abundance for, but look it up bunnies are uh, it's about spring this is spring things are birthing now and so this blessing for once there where there was division is about a blessing to help accept the differences between you so that they inspire conversation and exploration interest and discovery rather than separation and rejection the blessing is, may the division between you be left behind as you both begin to build a bridge of light formed from the willingness within your hearts to find your way back to a common vision. <sighs> I'm telling you, he's understanding the beauty of this connection, okay? She is... Uh, has the blessing to help heal the relationship he is operating in harmony where he is able to give and receive love she's not giving up okay she's in her fire energy and now this is about finding your way back to each other and it says here um it, it says may the differences that remain be ones that bring spice and change and agility to your ways and thinking and may the bridge that is built between you all be strong and sturdy and lasting through the ages remember in my reading my special reading you and i said yesterday this next time they get together is the permanent union there they've evolved there's no separation after this and again i say that if you are every queen if you are every king in the 3d not just in the higher self so don't get me wrong if you're not seeing this in the reality of this world these changes then don't sit around and be stuck continue to work on yourself so that you can get into this cycle so here this is about may the newfound unity recognize that there is not the sameness 
but a oneness of vision and weaving together of dissimilar threads to create a glorious picture of paradox and complementary opposites, okay? It says, may the love that can be born between people find its way through the fear. May the sense that when together more can be achieved than when stubbornly apart. Hence the strength card. The strength card is about pride and ego. And those are good things when you need them. But when it gets in the way of you being in harmony and you being with the partner that is your vibrational match, that's when you need to tame those parts of yourself, okay? And it says, let us live and let live, give and take, share and receive, and come to the understanding. Oh my God. And it's like, we can raise each other up. And as you do, each of you who brings your heart to this, uh, to this relationship, okay, to this task of healing, will stand firm upon the solid ground that you are now building. Unity is yours, friend. That's what they're saying. The, me the message to the couple from the universe is a blessing for union. Oh, my God. So now, what's the next message to them? Okay, well, let's, let's do this. Well, let's just do this. What's the next message? Fertility. Fertility. So what are they saying? This is about potential, powerful, creative energy. It's about initiation energy. The number eight. They're closing out cycles and creating new, new opportunities, new, a new relationship. This is about, um, obviously birth. Okay. Look at, there's a child in that bubble. All right. If you think about, you know, when you're in a period of protection and in a period of creation, and even when we're creating as mothers in the womb, the baby is in the bubble, okay? So right now, our relationship is in the bubble. It is being protected, but it is ready for birth. So now, what does this card mean? Time for the conception and growth. A time to get ready and to prepare. It may literally mean it's time to conceive and grow a new life in the world, okay? It's also about bliss and saturation and abundance and that you are in a place of great potential. It's, it is about time to ride this energy and do not let this fertile time come into nothing. So the seeds, the ideas, the dreams, the action, that is why our feminine has determination. So does our masculine, all right? Um, and this is about bring this 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 fertility and this creation through it says the seed is in your hand let it fall to the ripe good earth and let your soul grow what it was born to create we're here to create this connection now we are here to come together it's very much like a empress ten of cups energy is that this union is now fertile fertile for the taking so that now 47 Number 11 card, right? Number 11, it's 47 number, but it adds up to an 11. Master number, magician. So that now we can manifest joy, okay? Joy. Now we can manifest joy. This is the blessing. This is about believing in yourself and others. That means believing in each other <sighs> to discover a deeper importance to your being. It's like recognize that your interaction with each other is important. It's about recognizing that um, healthy relationships take work to maintain them. So it's like once you create this, once you are in this union, once you've birthed this connection, know it's going to take work now, okay? So, you know, separation was hard. Union is going to take work. This is about, you know, um, hugging the parts of yourself to and, and you know, each other that you don't recognize or that you need to recognize and that you need to understand. This is about operating in harmony. And remember, our masculine got the harmony card. So he's going to be able to help create harmony in this connection so that you both can experience joy, okay? This is about so you both can experience joy. And so this is about joy happens when the heart and soul unite. This union to achieve expansion 
for greater good is related to your divine path. Remember in the journey card yesterday, oh my God, I just get so like uh, tripped out when everything starts to connect. It's like all the puzzle pieces are starting to come together. This says joy, this is about this expansion to get us to our divine path. Remember in the in the um, reading yesterday, the special twin flame reading, they're here for mission work. They're here to share their story, their lessons. So this is saying, you know, um, that this card is acknowledging your stress and exhaustion of this journey, okay? And it's like, while you weren't happy, right? Or, you know, and through the separation, um, or even now while you're not quite in union, right? It's about um, making sure that you adapt to the new patterns of behavior and release the old stories, okay? Release the old seven is old sword stories. Release the things that broke your heart. You're starting from a blank slate now. Magician, you're both magicians. You're gonna manifest a new beginning. So this is really about, you know, if your heart's wounded um, and it's healing, you're likely, you know, dealing with deep feelings. And so now it's time to let those things go. It's to heal them and operate in joy and manifest this new connection in this union, okay? This is about um, your inner light is shining to reveal your life's grand plan. This grand plan is for them to come back into union after there was a period of division it is time for them to birth this connection and manifest, operate in joy and execute their mission, okay? Remember, he is operating in harmony about this connection now, okay? Because he sees this relationship as this very, very, that he wants to build the solid friendship and relationship and be in harmony. And she is, you know, has the blessing to heal the relationship. He's got the blessing of friendship. She's going to heal the relationship and she stays determined. Okay. Um, now, before we get to this part, we're going to go over quickly. What is the message from the masculine to the feminine, the present? Okay, you're not gonna believe this, guys. Remember the other day I said there was this, um, there was this like gesture that maybe the feminine made. All right. So here, the card that we're getting is the present. And so when this card comes out, this is about a gift, treasure, revelation of value, nowness. So when this comes out, it says there will either be a gift given or gift received. Remember, they both had eight of wands. Both of them want to talk and move towards each other. So I'm not sure who necessarily gave the gift, okay? Because here, this is the, the masculine's message is feminine. So I feel like this is like he's either given a gift or received a gift, all right? It says... The, there will either be a gift given or received, but there can be no true gift without reciprocity. Six of pentacles. Um, and it's when energy exchanged, bonds grow closer and connection is deepened. The exchange of gifts also may be about giving time and energy, shifting and moving away from typical kinds of things that you may have done in the past, right? And being more flexible and exchanging and caretaking. Um, this is really about, you know, it, that the gift, the intention came from a pure and good place and it's going to draw you closer and creates more intimacy, intimacy and trust in the relationship. This is about a beautiful partnership that is going to evolve out of what seems like a simple act of generosity. The exchange will never end. It is a bond forged beyond time. And as long as there is love, caring, and trust, the energy grows and ripples out into the world. This is, I really feel like this is maybe the feminine gave a gift that was game changing for this connection. And what happened? It was through the determination and it was through this blessing to heal the connection that now he knows she is his partner and they want to be in harmony. And that's why they're saying that now we are coming out of separation. This is a time to create this unity, create this connection, rebirth this connection, fertilize it, grow it, 
create a life out of it, and then operate in joy and union to execute your life's work, all right? This is the message the, from the feminine. So I don't know, perhaps, you know, she's a healer, someone who operates in divinity. So this could be very much like if you're, if you read tarot cards, if you're psychic or whatever, but this message is about divination, prophecy, fate, destiny, future fortune. When this card comes out, it says that you have the gift of seeing the possibilities of knowing and feeling out the fate. She knew that the gesture was going to help heal. She knew it and it helped and it's going to bring them into union. All right. This is about, uh, you know, being born with the power to connect with the divine and this power was activated and you taught yourself this there was discipline and purpose to your movement um and it was maybe perhaps delivered through your dreams and visions there were signs and symbols okay and so what what the message is is like you know so he's gotten a gift and she's gotten signs and symbols in order to do what what she needs to do this is also about a gift the gift of divination it says you have a gift Le learn to read oracle or work with spreads or focus with disciplines, okay? And train and exercise it uh, with responsibility and beauty. So she could very much be in this spiritual practice, okay? And so um, I'm really getting that the message here is that um, she, she is operating in divination and in divinity. And the message to the masculine is that I knew that, that this is fated. I knew that there's a future fortune because I knew that this was um, something that needed to get done. And for his message where he got the gift, what happened to the card, uh, where he got the gift, the present, right? Changed the game and helped him bring things to a more deeper and loving connection, okay? This is about, she's a gift to me. Um, maybe she gave him a gift. This was the revelation for him that he has finally realized that she is a blessing. She's a blessing. She is his gift. And now I want harmony within this connection. All right. And for her, it's very much about, I saw the signs. I operate in divinity. I am a healer. I have special gifts. I'm psychic, whatever it is. She had received a sign on how to bless and heal this connection. And she was determined to do so. So now we get into union. This is the blessing for union, the blessing to create. And now we're powerful manifestors that execute the divine work, okay? Boy, oh boy, guys. I know that took a while just to get to, um, you know, it's important messages. I'm telling you these oracles are not necessarily like, like quick like the tarot right it's about um there's so many intuitive messages and meanings when you get into an oracle card when you do the tarot there's only so far you can take it based on your intuition and the images but i'm telling you uh, the oracle cards probably take a lot longer to explain because there's so much to the oracle all right so let's go ahead and get started with the reading bottom of the deck for our divine masculines overall energy three of wands he's waiting waiting for something, maybe waiting for the gift, okay? Maybe waiting for the epiphany. Um, so he's in the three of wands energy. Bottom of the deck is the page of swords. That's that divinity. Remember, I'm taking a peek to see what my masculine's doing because I have evolved, all right? So that's the overall energy. The clarifiers for him, nine of pentacles. He's like, you know what? I'm just trying to get my confidence back. I want to be in harmony. I'm single, trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to do with this connection. That's why I'm waiting. Clarifiers for her. Bottom of the deck is seven of pentacles. She's investing. She's seeing value in herself and in her connection. And she's got the determination to move forward. In his head, heart, and 3D space, he's two of swords. Gone within. Doesn't want to battle with her anymore. Head, heart, and 3D space for our feminine. King of pentacles, our masculine. All right? So let's go ahead 
and get started. So now, remember the bottom of the deck is the three of wands for him. So he's kind of waiting for his ships to come in. He's sent something out, whether it's energy or he's traveled, and now he's kind of waiting for things to come in, perhaps waiting for this present, okay? And so we've got the two of cups, first card out. It's also her first card out. He's looking at his feminine. He's seeing that she is his blessing, okay? She's seeing that uh, she is his gift. And so he is desiring this union. He is observing. He is observing her. He is also, you know, having this inspiration to connect, uh, probably watching her, maybe reading old text messages, whatever. He's, he's in this page of swords energy. And when I said, what is that page of swords energy? It was clarified by the wheel of fortune. He's like, he's kind of done. He wants to get out of observation, right? And he wants to manifest magician card. Magician came out for her too. What does he want to manifest? I asked knight of wands movement towards the connection, but he's trying to gain strength dupe to her as well. Strength. What is the strength about? What does he need to get strong about king of swords to put his sword in it, okay? This is very, very much about him operating in his truth and in his integrity in order to get this Ten of Cups, this ultimate bliss and happiness, this harmony, this harmony that he is looking for, okay? This is this harmony, the harmony card. So this overall energy very much goes with everything that is coming out in the tarot. It's this, you know, Three of Wands kind of waiting for the present, right? Two of Cups, seeing that she is a blessing. Ten of Cups, wanting harmony, emotional bliss, all right? So now for um, the feminine, remember, she's in the Page of Swords energy. So perhaps she is operating in her divinity. Maybe she's pulling tarot cards. Maybe she's getting readings, okay? Uh, maybe she's psychic and having dreams. So for her, Page of Swords, what did we get for her? Remember this message? Divination, fortune telling, prophecy, fate. So at her Page of Swords is like, you know, I might pull a card just to peek in. I might, you know, do something like that. So she's kind of reflecting not only on the connection and maybe going over text messages and things and watching maybe hit her masculine on social media, but she operates in divination. Remember, she's got special gifts. So she's got this page of swords energy as her overall energy, and then it matches this divination. So here, two of cups, first card out for him, first card out for her. She wants union too, but she's had a tower. There's this crumbling. She's like, this relationship has crumbled. And I was like, okay, well, what, what is this tower about? Remember, Seven of Pentacles is about investment. It's about value. We got the Fool card. She wants to rebuild into a new beginning. The Fool is a match to him two times, okay? The Two of Cups is a match to his Two of Cups. So she wants to rebuild into a new beginning. Her realization is she wants a new beginning with her masculine. She's gaining the strength. Strength card is a match to his strength card in his overall energy, okay? She's gaining the strength. I said, what's this about? Queen of Swords. She's standing in her wisdom. She's standing in her power, but she's not going to be the shadow of the Queen of Swords, okay? So she's trying to stay in her strength to tame that beast, tame that pride, tame that ego, all right? It's the taming part. That's why Queen of Swords came out. She's taming that within herself so she doesn't operate from a place of ego or of fear, all right? So she wants this reunion. She wants to rebuild into a new beginning. She's trying hard to tame her Queen of Swords, cutting energy because she doesn't want to give up on the connection. Nine of Wands. Where did we get this? For her determination. So it matches as well, okay? Nine of Wands, determination. She's determined. She's determined to manifest magician matches his magician card where he wants to move forward to the connection and i said well what does she want to manifest she wants to hold on to moving forward four of pentacles is about guarded right it's usually about guarded or holding on to something but she's holding on to movement she wants to balance things out move things forward and create this has to do with balancing things out to heal this relationship, okay? Balancing things out to heal this connection. Oh man, already the mirroring, okay? He got magician, 
two, two of cups, magician, and strength. She got two of cups, magician, and strength. I mean, come on. This is how they flew out. So now in the head, heart, and 3D space, the bottom of the deck is he's going within, okay? So what does he think of when he thinks about his feminine? What is he thinking? Well, he's thinking. <laughs> he's thinking about this new beginning, Ace of Wands. He wants a new beginning with his Queen of Pentacles, okay? His divine feminine. This is a nurturing energy, this mothering energy. This is the woman who has all her money, has built her empire, but still has this beautiful home that she can create with as a husband, as a mother, whatever, okay? So this is about this nurturing 3D queen. So he wants a new beginning, a passionate, new and improved new beginning with his feminine, the queen of pentacles. He He's open now in his headspace. He's open to her. He's willing to give to her. He's willing to receive from her, but he's waiting three of wands probably for the gift because here at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, he had three of wands. Now in his headspace, he's kind of waiting. And I said, all right, what the hell is he waiting on? I know he's, you know, waiting on something. What's he waiting on? He's waiting to go into his intuition right? He's waiting for his intuition to give him some clarity over his confusion. He's just like, I don't, he, he doesn't know how he's going to manifest this connection forward. So I said, okay, what happens after he figures it out? Six of wands, he becomes successful. I said, what is he successful at? Managing the connections. The, this sun card with the lovers this is like children and, and coming together and the connection. Remember we had fertility and we had union and we have joy the sun's energy with the lovers combined to combine this success is that he gets his divine connection his partner his soulmate his twin flame and they're able to create and re-energize and have a successful connection this sun card is sometimes also about children so this is about manifesting this is about having that successful happy connection the sun card is the most powerful card in the deck in terms of um like happiness and it's the most positive card in the deck so he gains this harmony again he will have this harmony that they've already blessed him with that they're telling him he's going to get so now where is she in her headspace when she thinks about her masculine Okay, what does she think about? First card out, Queen of Pentacles. Match the Queen of Pentacles in his headspace. 3D Queen, okay? She's a 3D Queen, standing in her Queen power. She's already trying to curb the Queen of Swords energy, which is here. She's trying to get the strength to operate more in her wisdom and less in the cuttingness of words. So she just wants to be wiser, um, She will, but she wants to be nurturing. And in the last... Uh, the last reading we had this kind of you know balancing act that she was going through so in her headspace she's trying to balance out her wisdom and bring it into the 3d and have and be a more nurturing energy a motherly energy this compassionate energy this more female um soft energy rather than the sharpness of the queen of swords so in her headspace she's trying to balance this energy out towards her emperor the divine masculine okay and then knight of cups she does want movement forward in this connection. So what happens after this in her headspace? She balances things out with her masculine, hopefully. There's this desire to move forward with the cup of love. Ends the fight. Ends the five of swords. Ends this loss and this defeat in this connection. Where is she in his heart when she, he is feeling for her in his heart space? What is he feeling? Two of pentacles. He's like unsure. That's why he's in this waiting. Three of wands, three of wands because he's confused, okay, about how to make an offer. He's like two of pentacles. How am I going to come forward and make an offer? How am I going to do that? How am I going to have this new beginning in the 3D? I'm heartbroken right now. Three of swords. What is this about? Nine of cups. He's heartbroken that he has lost his wish, okay? He's heartbroken that he's lost his wish, which is his queen of pentacles. So he's just kind of working in the material world, and he's guarded. And I said, what is he guarded about? Offering this cup of love. He just doesn't know how to do it. He's unsure how to have this ace of pentacles, this ace of cups, this ace of wands. He's got all these new beginnings that he wants because he wants union and the ten of cups with his feminine. So he's unsure 
how to make an offer because he's operating in his sadness. He feels like he's lost her already. So he's just working in his heart space. He, I almost feel like he's numbing himself through his work and that's how he's guarding and protecting his heart. Okay. And in, in self love, but also it like, it's him nurse, nursing himself, but it's also about him wanting to offer this. He wants to offer this. Okay. So what happens when he gets it together? The fool, he just takes a risk, man. He takes a, his you know, foot off the ledge and he just goes for it. He just goes for it with the fool's energy. Remember the fool came out as to what she wants in her overall energy after this crumbling, right? After this division, there's unity after division. And so that's what we have here. This division, this tower, this crumbling. How do we come back into union, into a new beginning? Her heart space for him, where is our masculine? In her heart space, here's what we have, two of wands. She's kind of just trying to decide which road to take. Which road to take about what? Around movement towards the truth. Movement towards the truth. Action towards the truth. She's trying to decide. She's trying to get into her emotions in her heart space. I love that the Queen of Cups came out in the heart, heart space. is because she's balancing her the swords belong in the head space. The cups belong in the heart space. So she's trying to make decisions around how to come forward with her truth and speak from the heart, not from her mind, from the heart, okay? During this time of separation. But there is conflict, she's having inner conflict about it. So I said, okay, what happens to her heart space after she decides that she wants to speak her truth from her heart through the separation, okay? And then there's this conflict. What happens? Completes the cycle, the world card, the world card. They, they're just all about completing cycles right now. Completes the cycle in of this separation completes the cycle and ends this five of wands because remember in her head this five of swords there's there's just victory over this battle there's like there's no more battling over this crap anymore okay so now what does what's happening in the 3d for him right now like what's happening what is he what's what does he want what's going on in his 3d space as related to his feminine seven of swords you know my favorite card What's happening? Seven of Swords. Is it all right? Are we back here again, people? Are we really back here again? Seven of Swords. No, we're not back here again. He's wounded. He's wounded because of that energy, because he displayed that energy, because he's been reflecting Six of Cups on that energy. And now he's unsure through this reflection, through this wounding, if they're going to be able to come together as a team. Six of Cups was clarified by the Three of Pentacles. So he's just wounded that he did it. He's also not giving up. Nine of Wands is here in her overall energy, but he's just like, he's wounded through this behavior, through the Seven of Swords behavior. He's reflecting and thinking about the past. He's being nostalgic about the past, about the Seven of Swords. And now he's like, I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson. Three of Pentacles is also about growing and learning and lessons being taught. Okay. So he's learned his lesson. But he's guarded seven of wands. I said, okay, well, what is he guarded about? Seven of wands. He's super, super guarded. Guarded about what? Three of swords. He's so guarded over this heartbreak and loss of his wish. He's sad over the loss of that. But he still desires this new beginning like a clean slate, right? Fool is here in his heart space. And now it's in the 3D. He really wants to just take that leap. Look, if you look at the picture, he's got one foot off the ledge. He just wants to just start fresh, start simple start simple okay so what happens we got the nine of pentacles and i was like okay well so does he just decide to go single remember nine of pentacles is the bottom of the deck for his clarifier so i feel like in the 3d he's just kind of like you know i'm just trying to gain my confidence i'm just trying to numb out this pain um and yeah maybe i'm gonna stay single okay if this doesn't work out and i said well give me another card for that king of swords and so we got okay i think he's just gonna stay single until he can get into this king of swords energy which is what she needs because he's displayed seven of swords behavior in the past all right he's gonna stay alone single until he can embody this king of swords and i said all right give me a clarifier for the nine of pentacles king of swords page of wands until he feels like he can communicate with her again as this honest king all right where is she in her 3d space as related to her masculine okay they're mirroring each other so much first card out three of swords three of swords was in his heart space and it's a clarifier to why he's defensive what's her sadness about i asked ten of cups she is also like he's kind of like oh i lost my wish nine of cups 
she's like, I lost this ten of this happy ending, this bliss. She's she's feeling like she's kind of lost it. All right, she's heartbroken over this loss of the ten of cups. She wants union. She's she's trying to become more tame in the Queen of Swords energy. She's not giving up, but she is sad in the three D about this potential loss of this union. Okay. But Ace of Cups here, which is what he's guarding. She's, she's loving herself. She's nurturing her own heartbreak, right? But there is this desire. There is this desire to have a renewed love with him, start all over again. But she just feels a little stuck, Eight of Swords. I said, what is stuck? The Ace of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles, remember, it's what he's juggling right now. He's unsure how to give this to her because of his heartbreak. And she's like, man, I'm heartbroken that I don't have the offer. I'm heartbroken that I don't have the Ten of Cups yet. All right? And I'm heartbroken that this offer feels stuck around this equal, you know, this reciprocity around this equal give and take. Six of Pentacles matched his headspace. What happens after all of this Queen of Wands came out? And I was like, oh, my God, these guys and their independent energy. And I was like, all right, fine. This Empress sits on her throne with the lion. She's like, you know, if it's not going to happen, I'm just going to stay in my independent queen of wands with or without you power. And I said, okay, I need another card. He's sitting in his nine of pentacles, but then, you know, he's trying to stay in nine of pentacles until he becomes the king of swords to communicate. And I said, all right, give me another card. What about the queen of wands? She wants, she, this is like, I'm going to be queen of wands until we get into a better cycle, until we get into a better place. And I said, okay, so she's going to be single until we get into a better place. Clarify that for me. Then she will embody the Queen of Cups. Then she'll embody the Queen of Cups. She'll get out of that energy of single, independent, with or without you, Queen, once we get into a better cycle, all right? So now, what's happening in the current connective energy? Bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. So there's this observation. There's this pulling of cards, whatever it is, okay? Whatever it is around that. So um, I got kind of knee deep in here and with clarifiers and everything. So bear with me. Um, so bottom of the deck is the page of swords, the clarifiers, queen of pentacles, which is our feminine. First card out, eight of cups. This eight of cups is about getting on the journey, okay? Blessing for where there was division. So we're getting on the journey towards each other because we have learned something. We are learning something with the hermit's energy queen of pentacles is also an earth sign so taurus virgo capricorn this is virgo he's king of pentacles that's also an earth sign so maybe this is like identifying that virgo energy so this is about you know moving towards the journey to find your two of cups when you're in this eight of cups energy you're looking for the two of cups here and here to manifest the ten of cups here and here okay so they're getting on the journey they're on the journey, okay? They're gaining their strength. Strength came out here in the overall energy where he's trying to get into his king of swords. Just so interesting. I'm just realizing this. And her strength is her queen of swords. So he, they're trying to match each other with strength. I just realized that. So here, he's trying hard to become this king, king of swords, to match her queen of swords. Oh, my God. I'm just seeing that. So, okay, I'm just taking a minute so here they're getting on the journey to find their two of cups okay they're on the journey they are learning they've learned they've evolved they've grown they have strength to be the king of swords to be the tamer version of the queen of swords to take part in this contract all right and that just came together for me i'm channeling this real time now we get to come out of the cycle wheel wheel of fortune is a dupe to his page of swords clarifier now, and then the Wheel of Fortune is here in her 3D space. So now we get into a better cycle and the sun shines. Remember, the sun is here for him when he finally gets through his confusion. He comes towards his divine partner. So now the wheel turns and we have success in this connection. And we, we're, we've manifested something. The ship comes in, okay? The ship comes in. Ends the conflict, which is here in her heart. Ends the separation, which is here in her heart. And Eight of Pentacles, they work hard. They commit to Two of Cups, to the union. This is happening in the current energy, guys, not future. Current. They're working towards union now, where this says a blessing for unity where there was once division. 
So there, the ship starts coming in. We get over the conflict. We get over the separation. We commit to union. Cycle completes world card. In our heart space. Cycle completes. What happens? We move forward. Six of swords out of the rough patch into a smoother environment with each other that now we can birth because our king of wands the match of the queen of wands takes action after he's waited which remember the three of wands delivered all of the end of the separation they fight for their connection and they manifest magician's energy magician here and his energy around coming forward magician here around the chariot's energy of moving forward now so now this king of wands is fiery leader ambitious person that's determined okay uh became this person because he waited because he got over his seven of wands energy and became the magician right here takes action as the king magician knight of wands he comes forward as the king of wands all right that's what that's what we need so now in the future, what happens in the future? In the future, bottom of the deck is three of wands again. Ugh, three of wands. So this is about, you know, things coming in again. There's a lot of manifestation occurring. There's a lot occurring around three of wands energy. We have it for the bottom of the deck for his overall energy. Now we have it in the bottom of the deck for the future. The three of wands is also here in his headspace about how to get through the confusion, all right? The three of wands is also here um, as the clarifier to the king of wands where he takes action because he's manifested as the magician. Well, what happens here in the future? Magician, they manifest. They manifest, okay? They manifest. Uh, by the way, the bottom of the deck for the clarifiers in the current and the future energy is the Queen of Pentacles. Again, everything has to do with this feminine, the Queen of Pentacles. So in the future, Magician card, manifest something. They're manifesting this King of Swords, which is what he was gaining the strength to become, which is what he finally becomes to communicate, and it matches her Queen of Swords energy. So this Magician, they're manifesting the king of swords energy it gets manifested so now six of pentacles were able to open and give and receive love have an equal partnership six of pentacles is a match to his headspace it's a match to her 3d now we're equal partners and now we have the queen of pentacles grounded right queen of pentacles here and here we've got this new love now ace of cups that gets offered what he was holding on to gets offered the ace of cups gets offered there is clarity ace of swords there's a breakthrough ace of swords what is the clarity moving forward we we know how to move forward now to the queen of wands who decided to stay independent until they get into a better cycle so now we move forward to the queen of wands with an offer and the universe has been guiding us all along. I'm telling you, this is union. This is union. I really feel like within the next week or so, my readings will change from separation to union because there's been a blessing for unity, now a fertility and a birth of this connection. And now we are magicians. We are magicians, okay? I'm telling you, the universe has got your back. If this reading resonates with you, please um, let me know in your comments. And um, if you want to book your own personal reading, go to queenoflight1111.com. Um, and thank you all so much for your support, for your energy, for your comments, for your likes, for your subscribes, for your donations. Thank you so much for booking with me and trusting me with your journey because I understand it's so very sacred to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Have a great, great day, everybody, and I will be back on Friday. Bye-bye.